It was only a matter of time. Today, Rutgers University fired basketball coach Mike Rice after a videotape broadcast yesterday on ESPN showed Rice grabbing and throwing balls at players in practice and using gay slurs. The video prompted sharp criticism from Governor Chris Christie and the head of the New Jersey State Assembly. Rutgers Athletic Director Tom Pernetti was given a copy of the video in late November, but chose to suspend Rice instead of firing him. Do you think Tim Pernetti is next up to get the ax? I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I would love to give you a you know, more roundabout or dramatic sounding answer than that, but it's really difficult for me to imagine him surviving this, especially now that we know what was on the video that he saw that led him to suspend Rice for all of three games. I mean, that this is it's pretty shocking stuff, and, you know, this is not the first time that Pernetti saw it. Yeah, this isn't some Bobby Knight behavior of throwing a, uh, of throwing a chair or, you know, laying hands on a, on actually in a pretty bad way, laying hands on, on one of your, your players. This is someone who's actually going above and beyond that, you know, hurling projectiles and being really outright, straight up abusive. Yeah, I mean, it, in some ways it is Bobby Knight behavior. I mean, the, the difference being that I think that Knight saved a lot of his bile for, for refs, but... You know, it's also, I mean, the difference is that, that Mike Rice also just wasn't a very effective basketball coach. I mean, I think that with people that are like this, there's kind of a disconcerting tendency in college basketball to cut them slack as long as their teams win. And Rice's teams didn't. So, you know, he did win at Robert Morris, and that's what got him this job. But, you know, there's only so far that you can go treating people like this yeah. if you also are not good at your job. And, and Xavier, as an alum of the school, how does a story like this make you feel? It makes me feel terrible. Uh, essentially, we have our values, uh, the reputation, the, the brand of the school ca called into question, essentially, okay. about not only the actions of Mike Rice, but institutional control. Uh, clearly, everyone who saw the video agrees that Mike Rice should have been fired. But apparently, Tim Pernay didn't think so at the time. And so it took the president looking at the, the video and then outrage on Twitter to finally come to the conclusion that Mark Rays needed to go immediately.